And love my water sign masculine. Thank you guys for joining me. I love you guys all. <clears throat> Okay, today I am capable. I will accomplish every goal that I have set for myself. So this is an affirmation to pop it off of my masculines. We love you guys. We appreciate you guys all. Okay, today I will make a difference. Today I will stay focused, work hard, and do my very best at everything that I do. Okay. So that is some good energy. Yeah, I will honor my word. You will make a difference by honoring your word. You're capable of um, accomplishing whatever it is that you told someone you would do. Whatever avenue that could be in. Okay. Yeah, serve in good or in the bad. Correct people's mistake, warn them, encourage them with hope. Be patient with them. It will be saved from evil attacks. Praise, expressing gratitude. Okay, so Second Timothy chapter four. So again, you will serve in good or bad, even if someone is like trying to correct you and you're like, okay, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to make a difference. I'm capable of making this, you know, this change or this difference. I'm going to stick to my word. My word is bond, yo. <laughs> this is what I just said. Yeah. Be content regardless the season you're in right now. Yeah, praise in the hallway. So again, like praising, expressing gratitude, these affirmations is going to help. Okay, someone's roster is sucker free. They don't have no bullshit around them. Okay, I feel like someone is also, again, very content with, you know, not necessarily... I feel like they could be content with the people that are around them, regardless of the situation. They're content. Okay, so. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I look for positive aspects in every experience. So every situation, every experience that you occur, like everything that happens around you, you're looking for the positive in it. If not, then you need to start. Okay. Regardless of the season, you will serve through the good and the bad. Right, what's going on for my water signs? Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer is masculine. What do they need to know? Okay, uh, yeah, with playtime, okay, she just look cute, she doesn't, she don't know shit, she don't do shit, and her hand is always out, I feel like somebody could always be like going out with their friends here, hold on. Yeah, whatever abundance I seek is mine. That's law. Don't trust no bitch that's fucking with your dog. That's law. <laughs> okay, so yeah, somebody is like, that's law. <laughs> that's a given. Okay. 
whatever I desire and then allow I must experience. There is no exception to that. As I hold myself in vibrational alignment with my own desires, I will experience in all ways the fulfillment of that desire. So get your head in the clouds. <laughs> Look for positive aspects. Okay. Yeah, stop focusing on your fears here. You could be afraid that someone is going to leave you. Or you're telling someone, don't let me go. Or someone's telling you, don't let me go. Yeah, you can have it all. The door of manifestation is wide open. To feel better is the root of every desire. For us to feel better is the only reason any of us ever even wanted anything to begin with. So knowing that you are capable and that you can make a difference. You are capable of making this difference again in whatever way. Okay, so let's get clarity on this. I don't want to go too long. <clears throat> clarity for my water sign masculines. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Yeah, new love. So somebody that wasn't worth a shit that was just like playing around. You're getting someone new. This person may not want to let go or some shit because we got being held as a prisoner. So it's like somebody doesn't want to let someone go. Okay, yeah, look, can we talk? Or you can't be focusing on your fears as being stuck somewhere and that's not the right mindset. Be content regardless of where you are in life because you're going to be overcoming the trials and tribulations here. The feelings are mutual. Patience, focus, humility, commitment, and trust. Okay, so you guys could be thinking that a female is like just bullshitting. But that's just like your fears that's keeping you trapped. Or again, this could be you know, the new person and it's like, don't, you know, you can't bring up your past with this new person. Okay. Because somebody on camel energy here. The feelings are mutual. Both parties are wanting a commitment. They're wanting trust. They're wanting patience. Patience is definitely highlighted here. But somebody could be like, no, she just, you know, on that toxic shit. You know, she just look cute. She ain't trying to do shit. You know, something like that. No contact. Look for the positive aspects. What is the reason for it being no contact? Is that a good thing? You could be getting saved, actually. Just look at the brighter side of things. 
Okay. Look at what is toxic and unhealthy. Or it could be the no contact is toxic and unhealthy. You know, y'all take it however. I don't know. But let's tap in a little bit deeper and see. Okay. Thank you, Spirit Guys, for this message. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Masculines. Okay, your marriage. So you guys may not be in communication with your spouse here. This is talking about marriage, your home, your happiness. It's going through a transformation or someone's married to a Scorpio here. Or Scorpio's marriage. This is like negative external forces here. This is also the wrong side of the energy that someone's attracting. Releasing the fears of attracting. You guys could be dealing with a female fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't necessarily have to be, though. Releasing your fears in order to solve the problem. Or else you're going. Okay, okay, okay. Or else you're going to attract the bad influences, the, the negative shit. Okay, that makes sense. That's toxic, that is unhealthy. Because it literally just said whatever it is that you're giving your attention to, that's what you're manifesting here. Okay. Yeah. Introspect. Someone could be dealing with a Virgo. But this is more so going within. Yeah. Oh, somebody doing some sneaky shit here. What's going on? What's going on with this deception? An affair. Possibly Pisces. That's a friend. Pisces and fire. Pisces, Aries, cuss. That's the only one I could see out of this. Oh, no. Somebody doing fucking spell work here. Look at this. Somebody trying to get away with doing some fucking spell work on a love, on a soulmate, like on a connection. So this is why this marriage is no contact. Okay, that makes sense. King of Wands and Queen of Wands. This could be like someone's parent. This is soulmate energy. This is definitely clarifying some manipulation here. This Virgo. Using your intuition here. Why the lovers is in balance and you're going to find the truth. So it's like you will know what this is. And Aries, that's on the wrong side of the energy. 
or somebody could be doing magic to have someone sick here or not sick doing magic to stop someone from reuniting with their partner is what i just heard yeah king of cups this is you your mom your auntie some female in your family with a hidden agenda listen to your intuition Yeah, somebody jealous of you recovering from some misfortune with your lover. This is Virgo. So somebody, there's a female that's a fucking Virgo here. Or you got Virgo in your chart somewhere. Because the Queen of Pentacles is here in reverse. So there definitely could be a Virgo female. I don't like this energy. Let me hurry up. Yeah, contract. Inevitable ending. And you're going to be getting a gift. Okay, so somebody could be signing papers. <laughs> okay. There could be an ending to someone's contract here. But I feel like you're going to be gifted an award. So whatever that may be, or you're going to receive some sort of gift here. What's going on with this queen and king of wands? You ain't taking a motherfucking loss. Whatever it is that they're trying to do, there's no loss. No loss to your investments. Good news. Okay, Sagittarius. A magician or a Sagittarius Aries. Good news. This could be someone in your family that you're dealing with. Or spiritual growth. Yeah, to bring balance to things. Okay, so you guys got Aries and Sagittarius in your chart. Go and figure out like where exactly those are in your chart. And I feel like you're, you're going to be gifted like some sort of award, some sort of recognition here, public recognition, bringing balance to the spiritual growth. I feel like you guys could, this could be your kids. Your kids could be giving you a gift. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. Cancer. Rebelling. Against money opportunity. So someone here could be a cancer and you're rebelling against a money opportunity. So this could be against your contract. Maybe a contract with work. Because you were feel like you were stabbed in the back here. Could be by a water sign masculine. If you guys are dealing with an Aries, I feel like you're going to be happy with your invest. Or if you guys are dealing with an Aries, you're happy with the, the vision, the way that things are turning out. I feel like somebody could have stabbed you in your back because they were jealous of your money, something in that nature, okay? What else for my Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Masculus? This is the Aries energy too. So yeah, you guys could be dealing with an Aries and you guys are not talking to them and that could be the contract with your lover 
Anyways, let's see what's going on. Yeah, your pathway. This could be a Cancer and Aries situation that I'm speaking of. Yeah, some deception. Someone is wearing a false mask. Poor fucking chore. There's somebody that is definitely envious and jealous here. With this heartbreak and misfortune. Why the fuck did that sound like somebody pulling up? Oh. I'm about to say, call me to my plate. Okay, so this is. Someone could be 35 years old. You don't necessarily have to be. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, I definitely see you guys getting a gift here. A new person has stirred your romantic interest. So, listen. If you fuck this up because you think that this person is, is some extra shit. Look. If you're thinking something about someone in your family, then I feel like it may be right if, as far as someone being deceptive. Because, again, those one closest to you are the ones that's easier to deceive your path. If you guys haven't found, a, look, very soon, wealthy man. So stay focused. If you guys don't have new love yet, very soon. Yeah, mature man. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. And that is how you bring in this great fortune, this gift. Oh, shit. So someone could be getting engaged. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. That's why somebody's saying, don't let me go. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So it doesn't even have to be, you know, if this is someone new and you guys are like getting to know each other, this masculine is being like masculine is you're being told 355 could be very significant, but you're being told to open your heart. You know, you can't put everyone in a box here. Yeah, with this unrequited love, you can't do that. That's that's stealing your joy. Okay, that's energy vampire sort of shit. It's just giving me weird vibes. Someone could be 40. Someone could be 24, 16, 17, 26, 39, 13. Okay, so again, make the effort. Do not try to treat nobody like they just some string along here. Great love is worth taking the steps you're being guided to take. With someone that you're dating or someone that you're wanting to court. Along your journey. Yeah, look. Getting to know each other. Someone could be getting married. Someone could be going from engaged to married. Congratulations to you guys. Yeah, look at this. Much and that fell right on top of getting to know each other, make the effort, courtship is safe for you to love and mature men. Mature woman and flirt. Expending your lighthearted energy to each other. So you guys could be flirting with this mature woman. I'm saying five, six. Yeah, look at that. You deserve love. Someone could have recently gotten married and then you guys are on the honeymoon. Or maybe you don't have the money for a honeymoon. There could have also been someone that's like trying to steal your partner regardless if you were married or engaged. No, with this... I'm saying two, three, four here, then five, six.
Okay. That is all I have for you. Mwah.